Well, we have here a 33 inch diameter honey locust tree. Can anyone tell me what happened to this tree about 15 years ago? It was topped right there. Round or over. It's like a, you don't see it very often. This is kind of out in the country. Um, this happened to a couple of locust tree in Portage right in front of the courthouse. And I'm gonna show you those in a, in a minute. I'm gonna recommend a restoration pruning. Locust is resistant to decay. So the effects of the topping on a tree like this compared to say a silver maple, and this one they didn't top, I'm surprised. But a silver maple would get massive decay. Uh, Honey locust does not decay very readily, so we can thin these these sprouts out up here, where there's multiple shoots, and get them down more to a, a single stem, and we can get this tree looking almost normal, uh, and might need to be pruned, you know, in six seven years or something again, but. It is possible to restore a honey locust that's been topped, and I'll show you that uh, in a minute. Silver maple, here is the silver maple that was topped and kind of cut back away from the house. A lot of decay in that tree. That could be a justifiable removal. Uh, they just want it pruned. Um, kind of reduced over the road a little bit, but it has some serious decay in the buttress root backside. And you can see that large limb that was cut off right there, and it's hollow. And that's typical of silver maple. Like comparatively on a honey locust, that might not hollow out. Uh, this one is not hollowed yet, but that's a fairly recent cut. But I can guarantee you there's some cavities up in here and up in here. So you've got these tall branches that are growing and they're connected to decayed wood. It's going to be decayed wood in this branch here too. So this becomes a hazardous tree when you, when you top them. Um, whereas the honey locust is going to be a much different deal, but that's a, it's a lot of thinning we have to do there to get that back to a more normal structure. But it is possible. So in the early 1990s, these two locust trees were topped, very similar to the specimen I just showed you. and somewhere in this area. And we have since pruned them. When we first pruned them, they looked like the specimen I just showed you. And we've pruned them probably four times now. And I'm sure some arborists can probably see that they were formerly topped, but your average person wouldn't even notice that they were. I mean, obviously you can see in here kind of still some multi-stems that wouldn't be natural, but we've got them thinned out and acting a lot more like a typical locust tree, the honey locust. And the decay is not real extensive in these trees as would be typical of, of honey locusts. So we were able to restore these canopies. I mean, can you imagine in front of like a public building like this, and you hire a guy to prune trees and he, he rounds them over. <laughs> I mean, it was, there was an uproar in town. And uh, we have made them better over time. So you can restore a top tree if they are resistant to decay like honey locust. Uh, so this is the Game of Trees. I hope you find this video interesting. Like and subscribe. See you next time.
you're playing the game of trees.